Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video tutorial. So I received a number of requests on uh, writing an article or making a video on how to add uh, product tags to the product list in PrestaShop. And this is what we're gonna see today. So uh, first, uh, you should know that the uh, all this product data is managed by the product class, even if this is a category page. And the method for it is get product properties, which is called by the category class itself when retrieving products. So what I want to do now is go to my product class, which is to be found in classes product. And then towards the end, uh, this is uh, line 4167, um, right above uh, where it gets the text informations, I want to add something new. So first I will initialize my tags container and it will be an array, right? Then I want to get my tags themselves. So tags equals tag get product tags. And I will pass in the row ID product. Right now, if I have tags and a set, I want to get the tags for my language only. So uh, tags and tags is an array in this case. So I will use uh, context, which is a variable assigned to this function, language ID. So if this is set, I'm going to set row tags to tags and actually I'll copy it from here so tags content language ID great now that we have something to play with let's go to product list.tpl in the theme folder um, I chose this spot here right below in stock but you might choose another so uh, this is right above if page name is not equal to index and at the very end of the div with class right block, okay? So inside the div, I'll add div class uh, product tags, tags, okay? And if product tags, since now that's a variable assigned to uh, the product, the current product iteration. So for each, for each from, and let me just close for each as well. So for each from product.tags item equals tag, I will add a link. Why not? I could just uh, print it out, but I want to add a link. So I will use link, uh, get page link, and I will link it to the search page, right? True, null, and the last one will be a core string parameter. So uh, tag equals tag. Oops tag like this okay and I will URL encode it as well okay the title is so LS equals um, more about this is just a standard uh, syntax of the tax block so we we'll use tag which is the uh, tag name in this case. So more about the tag and the tag name itself as parameter. Now let's see if it works. So refresh and you can see tag one, tag two. Actually, let's just add a class. So class uh, button, button default, refresh. Okay, you see it's pretty nice. It should link to my search page. Okay, good. Now, there is a problem with this, and that is if I switch to the list view, it vanishes. So I have to modify global.js as well now. So I'll go back 
and in the theme folder uh, default bootstrap in this case js global.js i will look for the display method and i need to add content somewhere here so first uh, so this is the list view and this is the grid view i will locate my right block which is this one and inside it should be here let me append to that html so i will append uh, div with class product tags and the contents gonna be so element find and product tags this will just get the entry stored in the current view element okay dot html and we're wrapping this again since html gets the content only right so we should be okay with the grid view let me just copy and paste it to the list view i will add it uh, somewhere maybe after the product description okay should be good to go save refresh and it's there let me scroll up great nice works so it was pretty easy to add tags to the product list as you could see this is everything for today's video as always thanks for watching i will see you next time